so glad you're joining me in the Southern Living Test Kitchen today and I'm going to prepare one of my favorite, favorite Southern Living crab cake recipes. It's a crab cake with lemon remoulade. Mm, oh yum. yum. Alright, so I'm going to start by sauteing a little um, onion and red bell pepper and you're just really looking to cook this until it's nice and cooked through because really once we add the rest of the ingredients in for the crab cakes, you want to make sure that the vegetables aren't too crunchy. Mm -hmm. I know, see that's a, this type of dish I don't want a lot of that crunchy texture. It's interesting. That's you right. To, yeah. Plus I think you want the sweetness of the onion and the bell pepper to complement right. the crab meat. So I think we have our vegetables. They're nice and sauteed. We're going to just add everything right to okay. the skillet here. I don't want a whole lot of binder, but I want enough to where everything will kind of come together. And the nice thing about salting crackers is that it'll take on the flavors of the other ingredients that we're adding to the dish. And then we'll add a little mayonnaise to this. And there again, not a whole lot, just enough to kind of mix everything together. And the thing I like about this recipe too, it uses a lot of things that you probably already have on hand. Everybody's got a little mayo in the fridge, fried. an egg. Got an egg in there, absolutely. Only one trip to your local fishmonger and you're ready to roll on this one. That's right. Got a little dry mustard and a little Old Bay. I don't know Old if it gets Bay. any more southern mm. than Old Bay. And then a little Worcestershire sauce, a little hot sauce to give it a little bit of a kick. And I want to just stir all of these ingredients together so they're nice and combined because once we add that crab into this, you want to handle it as little as possible mm -hmm. as you both sure. well right. know. You have to be very reverent. Yes, very reverent. I'm telling you. <laughs> You're speaking my language. Lisa. I know, baby, I know. I'm like you, I like to kind of feel mm -hmm. the food, but just make sure there isn't any cartilage or shell in there. You know, some of the best packers mm -hmm. are in Biolabatric. Yep. Uh -huh. There's so little shell. This recipe actually calls for lump crab meat, so you could make it with lump, but I really like using the jumbo lump because you do get that fresh Alabama Gulf flavor. Well, then mm. you get crab. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to taste the crab meat. And you know, this calls to make eight cakes, but you could also make um, four. Small, well, you can make four, <laughs> and you can make smaller ones if you wanted to Many. entertain. Sure. Many. So we've chilled the crab cakes for about an hour, and we're ready to saute these off. Oh, girl, that is gorgeous. Good. Perfect. One way I like to serve this is kind of restaurant style. You can make it fancy at home when you just want to stay in. And so you toss the greens with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. and then you've got that nice sauce that goes over the top of it to give it not only the crab a little flavor, but the salad yeah. a little flavor also. It's one of my all-time favorite things uh, in the world. Me too, crab cake. Delicate, sweet. Good. Mm. Really oh, the, crab the crab is flavor. delicious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the other stuff does not overpower. It's really good. It's simple, it's delicious, it's sweet, it's it's appropriate, there's not too much filling, mm -hmm. there's just the right amount of crab. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Thank y'all so much for being mm -hmm. with us here today in the mm -hmm. Southern Living Test Kitchen. Thank you. Thanks. It's been great.